My name is Dion, and this is my story. I was born and raised on the south side of Chicago in the Inglewood area, which is a pretty rough neighborhood. My mom was a single mom. I didn't really have my dad around as I was growing up. My childhood was actually pretty strict. I, I grew up in Catholic school most of my years, and I wasn't really allowed to do much. Um, there were a lot of rules, a lot of regulations that kept me from really being able to grow into a mature woman. So. As I um, left elementary school and went through high school, I ended up going to college uh, at the age of 17. And my college experience was actually out of state. So that was my first time actually being able to be free. And in my freshman year of college, I met someone and I found myself pregnant at the age of 18, going on to 18. Um, it was the hardest time for me. It was a hard time for me to be able to share that information with my family, my mom especially. So that was a time that, that left me really scared and really vulnerable as a teenager. And when I shared the news of my pregnancy with those who are closest to me, it, it was made known that they wouldn't be there for me, that I would be on my own. And as a scared teenager, that was really hard for me to hear and for me to feel abandoned and alone in that moment when I needed people the most. So it caused me to do something that I would later regret, and that was to abort the pregnancy. I wish I could go back and change things, I do. But it was a decision that I made at that time as someone who was scared and who didn't know how I could possibly make it on my own. I wish at that time I also knew about God's love and the fact that he would always be there with me and that I would never truly be alone. Um, it wasn't until a moment when I heard a sermon and there was a pastor who was preaching about the power of forgiveness. And in that sermon, I knew just the struggles that I was having. It was because I hadn't fully forgiven myself for what I had done. But that sermon actually helped me to see just where that freedom comes in and being able to forgive yourself. Um, the pastor happened to make a statement saying that our forgiveness comes through God dying on the cross or Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. Because he also made the statement too, saying that if we don't forgive ourselves and if we hold on to that baggage and that burden, it's as if we're telling Jesus that what he did on the cross wasn't good enough. So I am grateful for that. I know that in me accepting God's forgiveness, that it's, it's me telling him that what you gave me is enough, that I accept that gift of salvation that you gave me when you died on the cross. So that was my, I guess my aha moment, my moment where I finally found my freedom to be able to move forward and to be able to go forward as a survivor and hopefully helping other people, other young girls especially, who maybe find themselves in the same situation. So through the power of forgiveness, I was able to actually move forward. I started a nonprofit organization called Single Parent Connection in which I'm helping single parents who feel alone, who feel like they don't have a support system. That's exactly what we are able to provide through that organization. So if I had had a group or an organization like that around me, I know that I definitely wouldn't have made the mistakes or the choices that I made. So I'm glad and I'm so blessed that God is able to use me in that way so that others will hopefully find that support in us and be able to feel like they can go forward as a supported individual making good decisions and raising their children to be healthy people. Find your support system. There's got to be somebody in your life that, that will help you through those hard times. And if you don't have people, always look up because God is always the best support possible.